on the lot. A new movie sees a former soldier traveling west to take ownership of a gold mine. Ooh, Suzanne Marquez is here with more on this one. We love when you're here on a Friday because you give us stuff to yes. look forward to. So you know Letitia Wright, she plays Chadwick Boseman's little sister uh -huh. in Black Panther. So she's the star of this movie and a producer on the film. Wow. Nice. Yeah, so she's really owning Hollywood, which I love to see. Yes. So she stars with Jamie Bell in a new Western drama set five years after the end of the Civil War. It was shot during the pandemic, which worked out perfectly since it focuses on our two stars. One is captor, the other is captive in Surrounded. What's my name? It's Mo Washington. Letitia Wright plays Mo Washington, a former Buffalo soldier who disguises herself as a man to travel west and lay claim to a gold mine. Got him. But her stagecoach is ambushed, so she is tasked with holding a dangerous outlaw captive and must survive the day when the bandit's gang tries to free him. How fun and how exciting to play such a meaty, incredible character. Can we talk about Mo? Yeah, of course. Um, fun, challenging um fulfilling really to find things like this that challenge me as an artist and stretches my capabilities it was a slog <laughs> it was a hard slog of of a job to be honest i mean you know this is a covid bubble movie right two people outside who were kept apart by six feet by a chain so um the covid compliance guys were like this is a perfect movie for us but it's tough you know the, the elements are tough conditions are tough the film relies upon performance. There's no chairs to cut to. There's no real effects to cut to. There's not a massive amount of plot or narrative. It lives and dies within these performances. So I felt that uh, the pressure was really on me and Letitia more than anyone from the movie to kind of deliver characters that drove each other, that challenged each other, that kept us entertained and kept us engaged. And hopefully spun a story that was was worthy of, of your time, you know. so. Uh, but getting to spar with with Letitia on the set was that for me was the joy of the film. That was the the discovering it when the camera was rolling, and um, that for me was where the movie really soared for me. Lord, help me reach my piece of the promised land. The film is set right after the Civil War, after Buffalo soldiers served in the Union Army, and women did take part, seeking independence after the fight for freedom. Yeah. A history that I feel a lot of people didn't know existed. It's, it's really a refreshing take on, on the genre as well. What you call me? Dead, you'll always be a slave. Can you put on this side? Keep your mouth shut. They'd rather hang me for the color of my skin than to hang you for what you did. You ain't never gonna hang white boys. I love wow. it. She's a shiro, baby. Yes. Powerful. I love it. <laughs> it's rated R for language and violence, but we, whenever you see a Western, what do you expect? I exactly. <laughs> it was That's... so beautiful wherever they shot yeah. it. Oh my gosh, yeah, gorgeous. It's... I don't know exactly where. I know it was out west because yeah. she's seeking a gold mine, so I like to think California desert. I'm just going to say it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, we'll look it up later. All right. That's right. Suzanne, we'll send thank Shiva you. out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>